This is the More View Podcast, the TMVP, where if you don't know, you don't know till you know what I'm here to let you know. So here we go. This is Count Nova L. Dallas L. Bailey Bay doing another reaction video. This is Obi Land, and this is a reaction to women that are drugging men. You've heard of this thing called the, the passport bros and all that type of stuff. And, you know, men getting their passports and they can't find a woman in America. So they got to go to South America, the Caribbean, Colombia, DR, all these different places to find interests, I guess. They ain't trying to find no interests. Let's be real about that. This is what they're trying to find. All right. They're trying to find, quote unquote, pretty young ladies that find them interesting. But, but, but this, well, let, let, let's, let's, let's come, come at it like this. <laughs> um, do we have different terms to express you know everything in, in different eras and every in every decade there's a new way of slang um back in the 50s it might have been um daddy -o, you know what i mean um just certain cat daddy um all, all the way through the, the, the 50s 60s 70s um you know jive turkey uh you know high um 80s fresh dope now in the 2010s 20s lit cap it you know words change so there was a word that we used and i i, I want to say it was a term that came out off the west coast called in the probably 90s 80s 90s was called a mark a mark ass buster gentlemen i'm not um trying to be discouraging i'm trying to you know hip you if you if you were my sons i'm 46 years old a week from being 47 thank you appreciate that um if you were my sons and you wanted to i want to like dad it's these bad women down there in the DR and the Columbia, and I want, I want to go get one. Got to get my passport together so I can go bust this move down there. You heard me? Look, I would say, um, I don't know if I'm going to see you again, son, and I kind of advise you not to do that because you're going to go to another country and you're going to be a mark ass buster. Now, what I mean by that is I don't think we realize or not, but there's a thing called tourists. And the one thing about being a tourist, when you are a tourist, that means you are somewhere not for me. You can be a, you can be a tourist in America. Just go to another city, go to another state. You don't know them people. You're not familiar with how things go. Every place is different, like really drastic. You can literally go to your next, your city over either east, west, north, or south, and I guarantee you they don't do it like they do it in your city. Now go to another country. Not not only are you going to stick out like a sore thumb because you you're not even you don't even know how they dress there, and you you might you might just have too new of clothes on, just just you you just a little too fresh for the surroundings. You know, it's like like in my neighborhood when I where I grew up at. In my neighborhood where I grew up at. There was like one white family from the time <laughs> I was born. Man. 
who for over 20 years. I can honestly say this. Now, it, it's not like I, I don't live in the neighborhood I grew up in, but I was in my neighborhood until I could get out. And that was, man, that was, I was, I mean, was, uh, the house was me and my, me and my sisters at the time, but after my mother moved out, but, um, yeah, the, it was like one white family for, for almost, uh, um, for over about 25 years, I would say over one, one, we knew if anyone was in our neighborhood, that was not of our complexion. You was a tourist. You was a mark ass buster. We will be wondering why are you here? Passport bros. When you go to these countries looking for like, I sure as hell hope it ain't looking for love. I really don't, cause that'll be a little sad. But I know many try to go and get wise from other countries i mean all over it's from many different demographic of nationality of people try to find a quote-unquote non-westernized woman a non-americanized mind woman with this modern woman the talk of the day and these men are trying to search and find uh, wives and you know I have I have an opinion about that, but I'm not gonna get into that. Right now, we're gonna speak about it's a drug called scalopamine. If I pronounce it correctly, scalopamine. Um, it is used for nausea or used for um. Well, let me let me let me read. Let me read. Let me be specific. Scopamine is used to prevent nausea and vomiting caused by motion sickness or medications used during surgery. Scopamine is in a class of medications called an anti muscarinix It works by blocking the effects of a certain natural substance on the central nervous system. Scopamine is a drug that's being used on mark ass busters tourists going to these different countries south of North America to find <clears throat> whatever the hell they're trying to find. I got one opinion on it. If you had to go to another country to find something from the opposite sex that you can't find in your own country, It might be you. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Because as men, we are hunters, right? And I understand, okay, you think that's part of quote unquote hunting, going, I gotta go find another that's not even from mine, that don't know nothing of mine, and I don't know, know nothing of them, and we should be um happy, happily in ignorance i don't really know what you know i don't know because maybe you haven't heard or maybe you haven't read enough maybe you haven't done enough research enough but a lot of times you, you bring any of these women that are not from a westernized society and bring them into a westernized society unless you're going to stay that stay in the south or stay in the east or wherever you find the man and just stay there don't come back here stay where you at don't come back here but if you come back here it's, it's, it really ain't gonna be no difference because you you done brought them right back in the same society that you feel like that is corrupting the society of the quote unquote women that don't find you whatever. I can't put a name on it. I don't know what you're looking for. I don't know you're looking for love, like don't know. But these women are drugging and robbing the hell out of y'all passport, bros. You know they all have certain individuals watching them the whole time think about it you go somewhere you go to another country and you see a group or different spots and locations in a certain place and these are quote-unquote beautiful women and they're just hanging out together you 
you maybe you're lying to yourself. I don't I don't know. Maybe you don't like the real. Maybe you don't like the truth. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Mm, mm. I don't know. I can't call it. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm just saying. Let's check this out. I'm just, you know, check it. Her real name is Cecilia, but she goes by all different kinds of names on Tinder. This is her and her gang in an elevator after a successful robbery in which they use scolopamine to drug the victim, which makes the victim sleep while they ransack the entire apartment, stealing all his valuables and all his belongings. They mainly operate in Medellin. Fair use, fair use. But they do venture out to other cities in Colombia, such as Cartagena, Bogota, Santa Marta. And so we set a trap and we found her. Only this time, it didn't go as she planned. Her mistake was, about a month ago, she drugged and robbed an affiliate of Obiland TV in Cartagena. It is important to note that Camille and her gang have been sought all over Medellin. And from my investigations, she doesn't only target tourists, but also Colombians. This is one of her accomplices. She don't only target tourists. Look, go check out Obi Land. Very insightful information. Pass along, my man. Appreciate it. Um, I don't even really want to go deep into this. This is a story about a particular man that went and found these young ladies that robbed him. Um, and when they robbed him. They ain't just take his money. They took his suitcases. They took everything. Matter of fact, it was. This, mm, I don't need. I don't, go go watch it. Go watch it. It's a part in here where they show a man um take these women or a woman. I think it was one woman take this one woman up to his room, and they see you know she leaving with her a book sack full of stuff. And then comes back with a man to get his suitcases. Gentlemen, gentlemen, if you can't buy it in America, you might can't buy it anywhere. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. The thing about America is if you want to be great, if you want to be just the flyest, whatever, whatever, whatever. This place will make you that because you have so much competition. You're going to have to stand out with some extreme things or, or, or genuineness. Extreme or genuine. A lot of y'all go for the extreme. You know, y'all actually think y'all need money to get a woman. Mm, did I say something? I shouldn't have said. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all think y'all need a want? Excuse me. Y'all think y'all need money? Damn dogs going crazy out there. Ain't my damn dogs. I don't know if y'all can hear it now, but it's going crazy in that store. Well, damn. Sound like I can't. Anyway, y'all think y'all need money? Damn dogs loud as hell. I don't know if y'all can hear tonight. I don't know. I don't know if it's coming through. That shit loud as hell. Some big ass dogs in this door. They big as hell. Some big ass dogs. I'm six one. Them damn things come up to the to the thigh. Anyway. But y'all think y'all need money to get women. You can't get one in America. We say they too did, they too did. You go to another country, you get robbed. You get drugged and robbed. Not just robbed. Drugged and robbed. In another country. You supposed to. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry. Shouldn't say that. You supposed to, you mark-ass buster. That's how I used to say, you mark-ass you mark buster. I'm trying to do my L.A. swing. For real, you a mark. You was a mark. You going out there with trying to be Big Willie style? You going, look, you can't do that in America. 
<laughs> go to where and try to be go on live wherever and show somebody man they coming to rob you in 1.5 minutes y'all don't have no personalities look you supposed to be able excuse my vernacular excuse my vernacular y'all supposed to be able to talk talk speak communicate them things off now, if you don't know what them things is, then you definitely should not be going to another country. But you should both be an articulate, articulate enough, well enough for a person to hear you and see you. And if you are not those things, then you're going to have to find something that matches up with what the hell you is. And I can guarantee you, money ain't going to get it. You can get a lot of things. Let me tell you something. A lot of these older men, they get these younger women. For those younger women that are really looking for that insight and that type of leadership in their life and really want that type of man in their life, the rarity of those that I actually are looking for that, if you find one of those, yeah, lock that the fuck down. But, but, if it ain't that, you paying for it. Y'all just be in some bad deals, man. Y'all be in some bad, you know, you know I know y'all some bad deals because y'all going to these other countries and getting drugged and robbed. Got her, too. got her too. It is alleged that she poisoned an entire party of Colombians stealing $20,000 in jewelry. Damn. This is not a person stealing out of necessity. This is a cold, ruthless predator. 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 If you do a quick search on YouTube, you will find a thousand and one horrific stories relating to Colombia and scalopamine. Just last week, an American was found dead in his apartment. It is suspected to be a scolopamine attack Ch in where a higher out. dosage may have been okay, used. Two women. October 6, 2022, just two weeks after drugging Senor Rio, Cecilia's with another victim. He's Look. been drugged fast asleep like Look. a baby, Look. while Cecilia walks down the stairs casually Look. taking his belongings. Look. But wait, they haven't finished yet because they want to clean him out. And so they call a male accomplice and take all his luggages. Look, um, be wise out here. Um, that's all I can tell you. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what in the hell has happened to this generation, to y'all's generation, with the men and the women. Y'all can't get together. Y'all, y'all have literally smartened yourselves out of even knowing each other out here. I be wondering what the hell y'all be doing. It's really confusing. I went to school. I remember going to kindergarten all the way through 12th grade. I went to college too. Okay. I actually did all that. Graduated from there too. Took five years. I don't give a damn. Got it. Got them. I. There were women from when I was a little boy, little girl, till I got became a young man, young women. There were women always there. What the hell was y'all doing? It's so confusing. It's just y'all go, y'all go spend money to get drugged and robbed. Then say you can't find nothing at home. Is is it that bad? I can guarantee you, it ain't never been that bad for me. And I know I'm I, I'm I'm me. Whatever whatever that means. To whomever I met, whoever, whatever that meant to meet me when I met the women that I have met, I, I don't understand. Like, it's y'all messed up. I don't, I don't know what happened to y'all. I don't really know. I don't really know. I mean, everything about my children. And I be mean, like, good gracious. I don't. I'm trying to advise them as as I see it. The landscape has changed. Some old school things still will work in today. Some things will not at all. Some things you won't have to adapt to. Some things you won't have to leave it the hell alone. Case in point. Um, 
Well, I'll be back though. That's just I don't I don't really know what to say about that. Just be careful.